I don't want to be a gymnast. I'm not letting you quit. I didn't raise a quitter. This makes no sense to me. I mean, you're doing this whether you like it or not, young lady. Why do you want me to do something that, that doesn't make me happy? Don't you want me to spend my time on things that make me happy? From academics to athletics, every parent wants their children to excel. But how much pressure is too much? And when does pushing them to succeed backfire? Now to the pressure of perfection for young adults. College recruitment can start as young as sophomore year, meaning some teen athletes are missing out on a lot of typical high school experiences. We sent cameras to two different states to test the public's reaction to passionate kids battling pressure from their parents. First, we're in Springfield, Tennessee, as this promising young gymnast is burnt out and begging for a break. You've got regionals in two weeks. We put so much into you. You want me to be miserable doing something that I don't want to do anymore? Mom, yes. step away. Whether you like it or not, you're going to continue with gymnastics. You are not a quitter. If I turn around and look at the woman behind you. I cannot help but overhear that. Your happiness is more important than what your mom is pushing on you. My mom was pushing like law school and stuff, and I was more of an art kid. Yeah. And right now I'm actually sitting here doing photography full time, making more money than my mom ever did. So follow what you want to do. Like, it's tough, but. McKenna, why are you bothering people? No, I'm happy to talk to people. I have mom BSA. I don't know what to do with her. I don't know what to do with her. I know I'm just a stranger. I say let her follow her dreams personally. Let's break it. It's a tough situation for sure. Because I can see both sides of it. Uh, here we go. I hope things work out for you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Hi there. How are you? I'm John Quinones with the TV show What Would You Do? If they were actors. Yes. Why did you step in? Um, I've just gone through something similar with my mom. I just wanted her to be happy. Having that relationship's important, too. In New York, we set up a scene with a college student, second-guessing her future. I decided to change my major. What? To acting. Why don't you stay with the major we agreed to? And you can pursue the acting as a side oh, no, that's not enough. I cannot spend 60 hours a week in a computer lab. That's it. I'm not paying the next installment on this. I'm pulling the funds as mom. I'm, I am. That is not fair. It's smart. That is so not fair, OK? Yeah. This is ridiculous. Another breakfast ruined. I'm sorry. I'm... How old is she? She's 18. Sometimes you kind of have to let them experiment things for themselves. Does she want to continue school? She wants to continue school, yeah. but she's 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 she wants to be an actor. She wants to change everything. Yeah, it's hard. I don't want. You don't want to leave out the cold. Let her think about what she wants to do. I, um, yeah, she's been yeah. a single mom, you know, doing the whole nine yards, but I love she, she, art yeah. is her passion. But I said she could still major in what she's supposed to yeah. and just do acting on the side. Yeah. I mean, she might love acting more. We tell our mom to ignore the advice and leave her daughter to fend for herself. You find your own way home. Find your own way home, Elena. Yeah, if that's okay. Oh, wow, they invited her over to their table. My mom says that she's gonna cut me off. Yeah, that's a thing, like, I don't, I clearly not. don't have that, like, no, that's yeah. support. Saying, if the reality is, yeah. It's, yeah. It's no joke when you go into college. My boys, you know, we still bank for <laughs> Good morning, ladies. How are you? I'm John Quinones. Hello. Hola, John Quinones, and what would you do? They're actors. You gave them a lot of advice. I. Well, as, as a parent, you know, you want your children to succeed. What about her dreams, the daughter's dreams? Yeah, I understand yeah. because I went to school, to courses for fashion. Yeah. But I had a mother, I have a mother that supported me. 
So, and then you have to think, are you going to find a job in that field? Because the arts are hard. You pursued your dream. Yes, I did. What's the moral of the story here? Support your kids support as much as you can, emotionally, financially, everything. 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 In both cities, we find overwhelming support for our passionate kids. She's probably very proud of you and everything you've accomplished. But at the same time, that doesn't mean you have to be like her. It's your decision, but you've got to work it out, your mom. <laughs> the perspective of seeing both sides is hard at your age, but it's for your best interest. It's all they're looking out for, you know? You know, do you want to just have to be prepared to be able to stand on your own when you do it? Yeah, no, I get that. Maybe you guys can come to a lot. I have a daughter who's going to college now, and she's going next year. And that's a fear of mine as well, you know? Isn't this throwing away an opportunity? I don't think so. I think she's finding her path. And wouldn't it be great if she's successful at what she does and she's happy to do? Hi, guys. I literally said I told her. I was like, I think we're on what we do you do. Like, I wrote it in my notes. Is this your daughter? She is my daughter, but I have another daughter at home who's also going to college. So I felt very, very um, connected to what she was going through. And in the end, what should a father or mother do? Just got to let them do what, what they, what they want to do. Because at the end of it, if you don't, she's, they're going to do what they want anyway. So you might as well support it. We're back in New York. I called the school. And I said that I won't be attending in the fall. What? And our college student has now decided to drop out. Everyone in our family has gone to college. I know, but it's 2023. There are so many ways to make a career for yourself. And like social media is like. It's something you can do. You can make some extra money while you go to college. It's not a career. Can you listen to me? I'm not going to go to college. Storm out. I can't believe this. It's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, maybe she may have a different mindset in, uh, in a few weeks. I mean, all you can do is talk to her and tell her that it's not uh, a great option right now. Uh, the more education you have, the more you know, the more powerful you'll be, and you know, succeed better. But uh, just talk to her and say, sweetheart, I love you. I support you, but just let her know the outs, you know, the negative behind it, the positive. It's gonna be rough without it. This is class. But will our mom take this okay. man's advice? Okay, here's what I think. If you want to do this, you cannot do it in our homes. You're yeah. kicking me out? I'm telling you right now. Wow, wow. I didn't realize she'd be that mad. Yeah, she's your mom. She loves you. Yeah. You know, um, this is your life. And right now, at this point in your life, you try to make it uh, sound decisions as possible. We want to see our children self better than us. Yeah. Right your mom is supporting you. She cares for you. She wants to see you do well. All right, let's break it. Um, if it's something that you really don't want to do, and here comes John Quinn, no, then I told you, Lynette. Hey, how are you? I, you. <laughs> I like her reaction. <laughs> Are you all right? He <laughs> You got some great advice. Well, I have two young men, you know, that we raised, and uh, I, I like to see young people excel. I, I, I see a situation like that, and I, I, I just had to jump in on that. Yeah, thank, thank you for being on our show. Well, we love your show, and thank you for, you know, inviting us into your world. Back in Tennessee, we're about to invite one more wise bystander to witness the debate between our burned-out gymnast and her mom. But I don't understand why you don't want me to be happy. Isn't that isn't that what moms are supposed to want? This is normal. Uh oh. This is not normal. This is normal. I am exhausted. You are going to be a gymnast whether you like it or not. Why don't we send McKenna away? I don't want to do this anymore. I can't. I can't talk to you. What are you, what are you doing with my scholarship? We've been paying for gymnastics for the last 14 years. Mm -hmm. I mean, what would you do? Yeah, she was going to get a scholarship. She's loved it until now. This is the first I've heard of it. I mean, at the end of the day, it's it's her deal, right? Life oh. is hard, though. I think it's hard when you're doing the things that you don't want to do. I truly think that if a kid just starts understanding what they enjoy doing and pursues that, they're going to be happy. Mm -hmm. But if a kid decides that they don't want to do something early, I think that's a blessing. Because at the end of the day, they can figure out what they actually enjoy. Man, this guy's fantastic. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> what did you tell her? What did you tell her? 
So that's a big decision that you're making, right? But as long as she spent the time to figure out what she wanted to do, right? I think that would be more productive time that she could spend focusing on, like, what are the things that catch your eye that are productive and help other people or... It's great. At the end of the day, it's your life, right? But you get a family that wants to support you. And then I like, have a conversation with your mother, like, hey, I want to do this for a month, whatever, right? What a great lecture. Hey. How you doing, man? Up, I'm John Quinones. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> They're the actors. Get out of here. <laughs> Boy, your message was so on point. Yeah, kids at that age, I mean, it's so important to, to really focus on what they want in life, you know what I mean? Go through the experiences, go through the lessons that they need to go through yeah. in order to know how to live a happy, healthy, wealthy life. There's some serious mental health issues among yeah. our young yeah. who are pushed mm -hmm. beyond what they want, right? Yeah. It's important that we shine a light on this issue? 100%, yeah. 100%. Message to parents who are pushing their child into something they don't want is to stop and have a discussion and ask them what they do want. And who should win out at the end? I think both. <laughs>